What makes Ruby Beach the most beautiful beach in Washington isn't just its sand, but it's the whole experience. There are actually many things to do at Ruby Beach in any weather. It's the type of place that young, curious explorers and more mellow beachgoers can all enjoy alike. And it's a photographer's dream. Year-round, the beach is photogenic, either for the unfiltered blue skies or for the thick moody clouds that roll in, you won't be disappointed. Ruby Beach is a part of Olympic National Park which means it's fully protected. Take nothing from the beach, because you'll be in trouble. There are many interesting shells and rocks to find, but as is the rule in any national park, you must leave it. So can you swim at Ruby Beach? Of course you can, but remember that you're in Washington state and the water is going to be cold. At the height of summer, the temps rise enough that swimming can be enjoyable, but it's still not warm like California beaches or the Florida Gulf Coast or the Florida Keys. One benefit of visiting Ruby Beach after a riptide has gone out is that a great sandbar and shallow pools form. This is a great spot to enjoy being in the water, and it's much safer than swimming out in the rough currents off Olympic National Park. You know we love driftwood. From the Dungeness National Wildlife Refuge to Driftwood Beach on Jekyll Island, Georgia, we love to seek out the salt and sun-bleached logs. The kids love to climb them and see what cool flotsam they can find. Ruby Beach is loaded with driftwood in its highest parts and up the creek, so there's plenty to check out. And for the Instagrammers out there, the driftwood at Ruby Beach is the perfect backdrop for a photo shoot. We're not saying that you need to be one of those people who shows up and overruns everything and everyone, but the drama of the site is very Instagrammable. Similar to the Oregon coast, the Olympic National Park coast is loaded with the sea stack rocks at nearly every beach. The stacks at Ruby Beach are gorgeous with a lot of interesting erosion and tide pools around their bases. There are a few rocks here that actually have tidal windows going through them, meaning that there are arches and holes in the middle of the stacks. Really cool.